Let us join together in the prayers of the people. When I say, we pray to you, please respond, birth us all anew, O God. Hear us and help us on our journey. God of Abraham and Nicodemus, God of all of us who think we are too old or too poor or too small or too weak or too busy. God of all of us who find it hard to believe the sheer wonder of the plan that you lay before us, we come to you now aware of all that you have done for us and yet still struggling with our doubts. We pray to you, birth us all anew, O God, hear us and help us on our journey. God of Abraham and Nicodemus, we pray for this world where so many wander homeless, not by choice, but out of necessity where so many are looking for milk and honey or a great name to rescue them. We pray for all the people in this world. We pray for the women and men who lay down their lives for the safety of brothers and sisters and neighbors. We pray to you, birth us all anew, O God. Hear us and help us on our journey. God of Abraham and Nicodemus, we pray for all those who long for a new beginning, those who are imprisoned, those who are estranged, those who've left loved ones behind, and those who are ill or infirm. Give them all new life by the power of your Spirit, and help us to see how we can be present with them as your hands and feet. We pray to you, birth us all anew, O God. Hear us and help us on our journey. Help us to grow again, to accept not only earthly things, but heavenly things to lift up your Son and be lifted up ourselves, to let your Spirit move us beyond our understanding. God of Abraham and Nicodemus and all of us, help us and help us pray. Help us even as surely as the Spirit blows among us for all the sake of your dear Son. Amen. This is the Lord's table, and Christ invites you to share in his meal. Christ recognizes you and looks upon you with favor. Christ befriends you and wants you within his circle. Count yourself among Christ's disciples by partaking in this feast of fellowship. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you that the Lord Jesus on the night that he was betrayed took a loaf of bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's pray together. God of endless grace, who sent Jesus to challenge us and turn the world upside down, thank you. Thank you for the way Jesus taught, 
and the questions he asked. Thank you for showing your love so very clearly to us in him, in the way he faithfully lived and in the way he faithfully gave his life. As we take this bread and cup, symbols of that no greater love than this, we encounter Jesus again at the table. Like with Nicodemus, allow that encounter to transform us. Renew your spirit within us that we might reflect your love light into the world and around us. In the name of Jesus, who gave his life for us, amen. Amen. As you leave this place, lift up your eyes to the Lord, the one who sent Jesus Christ as salvation for all the world will never desert you. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Go now in peace with God's blessing. Amen.